Learn how you can assist breast cancer survivors by donating your crochet knockers to knittedknockers.org. Their amazing story and information will be listed down below. The sizes that we'll be going over today are A through double D. So the materials are going to be very specific to this pattern. If you're going to be donating knit knockers, you have to use a specific yarn. They have 30 brands of yarns that are approved because remember this yarn has to be soft and breathable against the skin. So I'm using Kaboo yarn from Lion Brand. This is approved by Knitted Knockers. This yarn is super soft. So I'll leave all that information about the yarns down in the description box below. You can also follow along to the free written pattern on their website that'll be down below and you'll need a needle for sewing and a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook and please remember guys check your gauge to ensure the correct size my crochet my crocheting was a little bit loose so I had to drop down to a four millimeter crochet hook all right so we got over that so let's hop directly into this tutorial I almost forgot the most important part you'll definitely need stitch markers that close up like this for this tutorial all right, to begin, we are going to start with a magic ring. But if you can't do a magic ring, that's okay. You can chain four and slip stitch into the first chain to form a ring. Once you have your ring, I want you to chain one. And I want you to work six single crochets into this ring. So pause your video here, continue placing six single crochets into the ring. We've completed those six single crochet, but we're going to continue to work around and we're not going to slip stitch to join. So you're going to immediately single crochet into that first stitch. We're going to do an increase. That means single crochet twice into that same stitch. So that's once. Go back into that same stitch again. Two. That is going to be our pattern repeat all the way around. And so you don't get lost, make sure you mark that very first stitch. So let me put my hook back in. So remember, we're placing two single crochets in each stitch around. Pause your video here and I'll meet you back at the other side. We completed that row. So now we're just gonna remove that stitch marker and you should have a total of 12 stitches. This row is where we're gonna be using all of our stitch markers. So to begin, the pattern says place one single crochet into the next two stitches, followed by an increase in the next two stitches. Let's work that together. So single crochet into the next two stitches. That's one, two, increase in the next two stitches. Remember, increase means two single crochet into the same stitch. So let's increase into the next two stitches. Back into the same stitch, that's one. Now on the next stitch, back into that same stitch again. And according to the pattern, we're going to place a stitch marker at the very end of each time we complete this sequence. So let me put my stitch marker in. We're going to repeat this exact sequence two more times. So single crochet into the next two stitches, increase into the next two stitches. I wanted to add, we're repeating this sequence for two more times, not two more rows. So pause your video and I'll meet you at the other side. At the end of your last round, round number three, you should have a total of 18 single crochets. All right, now we're going to begin round four. The pattern is going to be single crochet into the next four stitches and increasing in the next two. So let me show you how that works. So we're going to single crochet into the next four stitches. One. Two. three and four and we're going to increase in the next two stitches I'm going to take this stitch marker out so increase in the next two stitches here's my first increase and my second increase I'm going to replace that stitch marker on that very last stitch again and that is going to be your pattern repeat all the way around. You're going to repeat that two more times. So you're going to single crochet into the next four stitches, increasing in the next two stitches. So, and then remember at the very end, you're going to place your stitch marker on again. So pause your video here and I'll meet you at the other side. We've made it back around and at the end of round four, you should have a total of 24 stitches. 
So for this one, we're just going to single crochet into the next seven stitches, followed by just one increase. We'll do those together. So let's single crochet into the next seven stitches. One, I'm going to be moving fast. Two, three, four, whew, five, six, and seven. As you can see, we already have the stitch marker on where we're placing that increase. And we're just going to increase into that next stitch. That's two single crochets. One and two. And don't forget to replace your stitch marker at the very last stitch. All right, that is going to be our pattern repeat. You're going to do that two more times. So single crochet into the next seven stitches and increase two times. So pause your video here and I'll meet you when you make it back around. At the end of round number five, you should have a total of 27 stitches. Now we're going to begin round six. I was looking at this pattern and it looks a little confusing at round six, but don't worry. I'm going to get you through it real easy. According to the pattern, you're just going to single crochet into the, uh, the stitch before the stitch marker. I know that sounds confusing. So here's the stitch. There's the stitch before it. You're going to stop right there. So let's work that together. I was looking through some of the comments of the other videos and it seemed like a lot of people had issues right there and didn't know exactly what the designer of the pattern meant, but it's actually not that difficult. So let's take it to the stitch before the stitch marker. All right, I am here. So now you can get a better look at it. Here's my stitch marker. And here's the empty stitch right there. And this is where I stopped. So what we're going to do next, we're going to increase in the next two stitches. So we're going to increase here and increase in the stitch marker. So I'm going to remove this. So let's place an increase into the next two stitches. That is my first increase. And here is my second increase. And remember at the end of that second increase, we're going to place our stitch marker on that very last stitch. And that is going to be our pattern repeat around. You're going to repeat that two more times. So what you're going to do, place one single crochet into the stitch before the stitch marker, then increase in the next two stitches. You're going to do that two times. So pause your video here and I'll meet you at the other side. We've just completed round number six. So let's start round number seven. This next round is super easy. We're just going to place one single crochet in each stitch and increase in each one of your stitch markers. So place one single crochet in each one of your stitches and you can pause your video here and I'll meet you at the first stitch marker. Okay, we've made it to the very first stitch marker. Remember, I'm not skipping any stitches. Remove the stitch marker and increase in that next stitch. That is two single crochets. And never forget to put your stitch marker in at the end. There we go. Come on, stitch marker. You're going to repeat that two more times. So pause your video here. Remember, single crochet and increase in your stitch marker. Single crochet, increasing your stitch marker. Pause your video here and I'll meet you over at the other side. We've just completed round number seven. So we're going to do a two row pattern repeat. We're going to repeat round six and round seven over and over. So for an A cup, you're going to repeat the last two rounds three times. B cup, repeat the last two rounds four times. C cup, repeat the last two rounds five times. D cup, you're going to repeat it the last two rounds six times. And for a double D, you're going to repeat those last two rounds seven times. So you can pause your video here and continue with those last two row pattern repeats. And if you don't remember exactly where row round number six or seven begins, I'm going to leave round six timestamp right below. Pause your video here and I'll meet you at the completion. We've completed all of our additional rows and this is what your work should look like. If you're using the A cup, you should have 63 uh, single crochets, B, 72 stitches, C, 81 stitches, D, 90 stitches, and double D, you should have a total of 99 stitches going around. 
So for the next two rows, it's going to be very simple. What we're going to be do, we're going to be working in the back loops only. To work in the back loop, you see the front loop and there's the back loop. We're not going to be increasing at all. We're just going to single crochet, back loop single crochet in each stitch around for a total of two rows. And don't worry, when you get to the stitch marker, just place your single crochet in it and replace it with the stitch marker again. Remember, we're not increasing. So pause your video here, continue working into the back loops for a total of two rows. We just completed those two rows of back loop single crochet and this is what your work should look like. So now we're just going to start reducing and closing off the bottom of your knit knocker. So to then according to the pattern, what we do next, we're just going to single crochet two stitches together. Then we're going to single crochet in each stitch all the way across until you make it to the stitch before the stitch marker. I'll place a picture up here just in case you don't remember. And these two stitches right here, we're just going to single crochet two stitches together. So let me show you what that looks like. To begin, insert your hook into the first stitch, pull up a loop. Insert your hook into the second stitch, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook, and that is your first single crochet together. So now we're going to single crochet in each stitch all the way across into the stitch before the stitch marker. Pause your video here and I'll meet you once you make it over here. Okay, we made it to the stitch before the stitch marker. Here's the stitch and stitch marker. We're going to remove this. And now we're going to single crochet two stitches together. So go in the first loop, pull up a loop. Next stitch, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. And please don't forget to put in your stitch marker. All right, that is going to be our pattern repeat over and over again. So remember to start, you're going to single crochet two stitches together. And single crochet into the stitch before. So yes, it's going to be like two uh, single crochet two stitches together are next to each other. So you're going to keep doing that around and around until it reduces and you have 15 single crochets left. So I'm going to leave exactly what to do up here. So pause your video, continue reducing until you only have 15 single crochets left. We've made it down to our last 15 stitches and you can fasten off your work and leave like a 10 inch tail for sewing and you can remove all your stitch markers. At this point, you're going to want to stuff your crochet knit knocker with polyfill. They recommend um, over stuffing so the per owner of these can adjust them as they please. And sometimes door mastectomies, the chest wall can become concave. So this can help. So let me show you how to close this up. I have mine already threaded according to the video. They want you to weave in, I mean, according to the pattern, in and out of the stitches. So you're going to do that across the top last row of these all the way across. So pause your video here and weave in and out of this last row. Once you're done, you can pull the tail to close off, but do not fasten off your work. You can tuck this tail into the knitted knocker, the crochet knitted knocker, so the owner of it can readjust the polyfill as needed. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please go check out the knitted knockers website. All that information on where to donate and help will be down in the description box below.